Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 39. And in this tutorial, I am going to show you guys how to return data from a function. Okay, so you guys might use this in a case where you don't want your function itself to handle the output. So uh, instead, maybe you'd prefer your function returned a value that you could use somewhere else in your algorithm or in your code and then output a value later on. Okay, so that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do. But before we get started with that, I just want to mention to you guys that I do have a Twitter account and I do have a Facebook page uh, for the Programmer's Creed. So if you guys um, want to get social with me, if you guys just want to chat or if you guys have any questions, go ahead and like this page and follow me on Twitter. The links are in the description of every single one of my videos and uh, maybe I can help you guys out. So I just felt like I needed to mention that. Uh, so let's go back to just tutorial 39 where we've got nothing so far. And let's actually make a function that is useful. So I'm going to make a function and I'm going to call my function adder uh, because it's going to add two numbers together. So it's going to take two arguments and I'm going to call the first argument arg1 and I'm going to call the second argument arg2 for argument1 and argument2. So very creative naming system there. Uh, and all this function is going to do is add argument1 to argument2. So we're going to make a new variable in here called sum and I'm going to set that equal to arg1 plus arg2 forgot the dollar sign okay cool and normally what I would have done in my previous tutorials is actually echo out uh, sum in here but like I said I don't want the function to actually handle the output because we're gonna make a function that we can use a few times without actually having the function uh, output anything so we can use the the returned value of this function somewhere else in our code. So instead of doing echo, I'm actually going to write this line of code. I'm going to say return sum. And this is basically the whole point of the tutorial. That one line, or actually two words, return and then the variable we are returning. So how easy was that? The tutorial is pretty much done, except we just need to actually output this value and or do something with it and output it, okay? So I'm going to make a new variable and I'm going to call this variable apples. And now I can actually um, call this function to give my variable apples a value. So I'll go ahead and say apples is equal to adder and I'll add in my two arguments. We'll make it 12 and 4. Not 54, just 4. Okay. Uh, and now if I can explain to you guys what's going to happen here, uh, we're basically calling our function adder and we're giving the values of 12 and 4. So 12 and 4 to these two arguments. So 12 will be arg1, arg1 and 4 will be arg2. And what happens there is 12 and 4 are actually added together to our new variable called sum. And then we're returning the value of sum, which means that uh, 16, because 12 and 4 is 16, is being returned. And that return value is actually going to be stored in our new variable called apples. Okay, so now we could go ahead and use apple somewhere else in the code like we could uh, maybe just um, take apples and subtract it from something or add apples to something else and we could do a whole bunch of other stuff uh, with this new variable here but just to prove to you guys that apples is indeed equal to 16 I'm gonna go ahead and echo apples so let's go ahead and save this now and click refresh and as you can see we have returned the value to our new variable called apples 
and printed it out. So how awesome is that? And uh, that's not even all that we have for this tutorial yet because I want to show you guys something else, okay? Because we didn't actually handle the output in this function, I can go ahead and use this function a number of times. So I could make another new variable here and I could call this variable oranges and let's say I wanted oranges equal to another two numbers then I could use my add a function again and I could go ahead and say uh, five and six and so now oranges would be equal to uh, five plus six but our function is actually handling all this code for us so we're not having to retype all of this code like we would have to do uh, if we wanted to add 12 and 6 together and 5 and 6 together and so on. Okay, and I could go ahead and do this again. I could use this function and one last time and uh, let's stick to calling them fruits. So we'll just say banana, banana, and we'll set that equal to adder of uh, what two numbers can we put in here? 10 and 8 probably. Okay. And now when we echo this out, we could echo out apples and uh, it's probably better just to uh, append on some breaks here, or not a break, but space. So uh, apples, oranges, and we'll put another space in here. It's probably better actually that we put in a break rather. Break. Break. And we'll append on the last one, which was banana, spelt a little bit funny. Okay, and now when we save this and click refresh, you can see we've got 16, 11, and 18. So what we've effectively done here is use the same code in a function three times. So instead of typing... Uh, sum is equal to this and that and this and that three times we actually just used the function and I know this is just a really simple example but this is going to come in handy a lot later on uh, because we'll be able to reuse code uh, very complex code that we write in a function a lot a lot of times or a few times I don't know okay well this isn't an English tutorial it's a coding tutorial so if my uh, language is a little bit funny then forgive me uh, but that's actually all I have for you guys in this video so obviously don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share the video it's really going to help my channel grow and I'll see you guys on the social networks don't forget to add me on Twitter and Facebook